let's show you how we switch from summer planting to winter planting in the hydroponic lettuce house. Let's go. So first we'll show you uh, in our lettuce, which is our main crop here. You can see we actually switch only one variety. We plant a lot more of one and we drop the count on the other three that we grow. And we can go down here and I can show you why. So here's, here's a tray of Tropicana, which grows phenomenal all year round, but really does well in the winter. It doesn't change much. Where our mirror, we, we, it, it drops down in size to the point where we can't really sell this ahead. We put it in our mix along with our red oak leaf. We only grow red oak leaf just to give it some color. We never do, do get a much weight out of these. Where we can get about five pounds in the winter time out of the mirror and about seven or eight per tray of the Tropicana. Which is roughly half of what we get in the summertime. But it's still really good for winter growing. Uh, and really still profitable, so we keep doing that. And we do add some Boston, some Rex, which is right down here. We planted about two to three, well about three weeks ago. And we'll grow that mainly in the, in the winter months. We don't grow much of it in the summer. As most of you know, we sell 95% of our lettuce as a mix, not the heads. We do, we sell some heads at the farmer's market and uh, to the odd customer, but mostly mix. And the shelf life on this stuff is phenomenal. And that's what the restaurants want. They want the mix and the market customers too. Uh, we do keep our two main herbs going all year round. Uh, this is the flat leaf Italian parsley okay. and cilantro. Those are the two main herbs we grow uh, all year round. We do grow basil in the summer months. Uh, we have two trays left here in the greenhouse which will be gone this week. And when the basil is only a summer crop for us because we don't get the, the heat up here to grow it or the sunlight all year round. So we switch over to arugula. We grow lots of arugula from about September till June. We have to drop it in July and August because of the flea beetles. Just devour it and we can go back. We have some growing here now. We can show you what we've got back here. So you can see here this basil's just about, it's done. It's not very, it's still good, but it's not the quality that we're used to in the, the winter. It's dying off because we're not getting any sunlight now. It's what, the 20th of October, first day of fall, today or tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow I tomorrow. think. Yeah, so. That's done, but we'll switch over to the arugula, and you can see the arugula. We can grow some really good arugula here. You know, we're getting three to four pounds right now a trough, uh, and that's without the lights. We're not using the lights yet. One thing I do want to mention too, um, because we have told people before that we always did two to three cuts on the arugula, yes. and now Wayne has decided that we're only doing one, um, just for the quality and. Uh, the nice tenderness of it it's uh, working much better with just one cut so and the turnover it just seems to be better yeah that way, so. and here's another crop we go all year round it does it actually grows better in the shoulder season spring and fall it doesn't like the extreme heat we keep it all year round it, it it does slow down but look at it right now it's growing beautifully and this is getting old too we have some new stuff we have planted we will start rotating three or four new troughs in every week and throw out the old ones but we've been harvesting these troughs for about three months now so no complaints about the production out of it. And this is one crop that we don't harvest uh, like Wayne said it's getting older now because we harvest just individual uh, leaves off um, and Look how many times we've harvested here. Yeah. You know. Whereas um, the lettuce mix and all that it's just a one-time harvest as well as the arugula now and the basil the only thing that we do uh, what do we oh the only thing we do um, multiple cuts on right now would be the beet greens, yeah, and the Swiss. The beet greens oh and the Swiss yeah. yeah sorry so you can see where we've harvested that was for an order this morning came off yeah. this off there and uh, we just keep trimming away and we do about three cuts on this one eh? yeah because we're in a northern climate we don't have all the vegetables that you have in the southern climate all year round. So the greens are a big deal up here. Get fresh greens this time of year and all winter long. I mean, it's fantastic. We we can grow, we can sell everything we can grow in this greenhouse. And uh, the only other crop that we've decided we have added in the wintertime is, is bok choy. 
We also grow that quite a bit of that in the winter. We just haven't started yet. Again, we can't grow that in the summer because of the flea beetle issue. Uh, they love it as well, just like the arugula. So we'll start growing that. We'll probably plant some this week, and we'll show you some pictures of that later on. So we just wanted to give you a quick peek at everything. Um, we are going to be doing a video each week now. Um, next video for in the hydroponic house will be on probably the seed. We'll start at the start. We'll do step by step, right, for the whole operation. Yeah. We're getting so many questions and comments that people want to know this and that. So better off to start at the beginning, and we'll try to cover best we can every step of the way from start to finish, right to at the farmers market at you know, the end of the week, and how we pack for our CSA. And then Patty's also going to do one on her new channel Beyond Farming and what she's going to do with the basil this week. They don't even know about that channel no, yet. No. <laughs> Pat, Patty's starting to do lots of stuff with the products here and uh, she's going to start showing a bit of that. So I will put the link to my new channel Beyond Farming uh, in the description box below. You can go check that out. That's just where I'm going to be um, preparing foods and um, preserving foods that we have an abundance of. That we grow here that we grow here but we have an abundance of and we uh you can go check it out so next week we'll have a video on the new channel beyond farming and spring hill farms once a week from now on and we're just going to do short little segments of um how the hydroponic house works and into the other greenhouses when we start doing winter cleanup and all that kind of stuff so if there's something you specifically want to know about let us know and we'll try to put that, make sure we get that in there. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.